Hey everyone, um, I'm doing a video on just how to uh, re-enable tethering, uh, that's basically getting internet uh, from your iPhone uh, onto your computer uh, with, an 18, with an iPhone from uh, AT&T. <clears throat> As I'm sure you've heard in OS 3.0, uh, AT&T is going to either charge you for it um, or they're just, you're not going to have it. So uh, I figured a way, a little bit of a kind of a way around how to do this. Um, and there's no jailbreaking needed or anything like that. So um, <clears throat> I figured it out two different uh, combinations of a couple things. But anyway, it has to do with the iTunes strings that you can extract from the executable. And um, also the uh, iTunes itself. What a lot of people are talking about is um, iTunes 8.2. Like they got rid of the functionality. And the only way you can do this is with um, the pre-release. But um, that only you only need that for Windows because you can do this. Okay, so anyway, um, you're gonna need iTunes and Terminal. Both should be on your Mac. So when you open iTunes, what you can do when you connect to your iPhone is uh, normally when you click the restore button, it'll ask you for an IPSW file, or um, I think that's it. Anyway, that's to restore your your phone. And so what this will do is. Uh, make it so you can restore to an IPCC file. For example, I option clicked or alt clicked restore and uh, I have these stored in my actual iTunes folder but here you are you see this uh, is with MMS and tethering oh yeah and it also re-enables MMS for some um, that's the original one which I don't use just for tethering and this is the one which is MMS and tethering I just have it in there in case it updates with it so I'll just hit cancel but um, what you need to do is uh, either get this, I'll, I'll post it in the side, but what you need to do is uh, in here, you're gonna find the carrier, and there's like maybe only four instances, um, carrier bundle, darn it, where is it? Carrier testing, okay. This is the magical string that you need. So what you're gonna do is, uh, you go to terminal, move this here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go cd slash uh, applications um, iTunes dot app and yes, uh, capitalization counts. Um, contents Mac OS. Just hit enter and it'll go there. So what you're gonna do is if you display, I'm sorry, the directory it'll just say iTunes. So what you can do from there is you can either A, extract the string, which is how you can do it, which um, it's like strings, it has to have spaces in between everything, and then where you want it to go. So anyway, uh, from here what you can do is you can go write, or I'm sorry, defaults, write, com.apple.itunes, and then you're going to put in the string. So it's going to be carrier-testing-dash- boolean true. Now I'm not going to do this because I already did and I don't want anything to get messed up, but when you do that, oh and make sure iTunes is uh, not open. Make sure you quit it before you do this. Uh, hit enter and it'll just do that. Um, that's all you need to do. And when you open it back, uh, when you open iTunes back up, I see uh, IPCC files. So I'll post um, the MMS and tethering and the tethering in the uh, links in the sidebar so that you guys can download it. Um, you can also look for these online. I'm sure you can find them somewhere um, if the links aren't working. So that's just an easy way to do that and I will demonstrate <clears throat> if I can that tethering is working. Um, let's see, let me just turn off airport and I know you can't see the uh, I know you can't see that I don't have any ethernet plugged in but I don't I promise. And uh, I'm going to just turn on tethering, press B. Okay, and I have it tethering, and there's a little blue banner running across the top of mine, and you can see IP address required, which is off my iPhone. It's using 3G. So then let me demonstrate this. It'll say sync in progress. I'm just going to cancel that. Still tethering. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on Google, and my uh, airport's off. I am tethered. Um, let's just demonstrate my space now since I am on singular's data network it's not blazing fast and 
I don't know why, but I don't have very fast 3G coverage right now. I, don't, I only have like two, three bars, so there you go. It's loading finally. As you can see, MySpace loaded, so there's proof. And actually, network, uh, Ethernet, here it is. It says Ethernet adapter, but that's how the iPhone hooks up. So that's just an easy way to do that. Um, MMS, I still can't get working because I don't have a plan from AT&T, but it is there. So I just thought I'd tell you guys that. So I hope you guys have a lot of luck with this and uh, <laughs> bring down AT&T because they've ripped me off plenty and they're finally getting a taste of their own medicine.